LCA, state runner-ups a year ago, a Class 3 undefeated. One loss, EC Glass loaded with talent and playing host. Our own 10 Sports' Brooke Leonard spent the night at City Stadium in Lynchburg. A Seminole District showdown is our game of the week to close the regular season. EC Glass versus the undefeated LCA. First quarter, Michael Thomas takes this one in from short distance. EC Glass on the board first. Then second quarter, Lavarius Gilbert taking the direct snap, spin cycle around his defenders, and it's 14-0 at half. Third quarter, LCA down 14-7. Here's Elijah Castaneda taking it past the chains all the way to the end zone. The Bulldogs even the score 14-14, but Glass will score two more times in the second half, including this scramble by Thomas again. The ground game was the key tonight for the Hilltoppers and a defense made of steel. EC Glass gets the win 26-14 over LCA. Balance, being physical up front. Uh, George did a good job of reading their, their defense, their schemes, and what they were doing up front, and he was able to uh, like adjust, audible, if you will. Uh, we threw the ball when we needed to. We ran the ball when we needed to. Uh, we manned up. A lot of, of how we ran the ball, being able to see numbers, see angles, um, and just getting us in the right run. Their defense is the best, the, the best that I've seen in my high school career. Uh, it was really tough to complete anything, so we were able to just kind of buckle down and run the football, and that, that made my job easy. It feels good, you know. It feels good knowing you did your job, but it's just the little things that you could do better, and that's what that's what's going to make us a better football team. And while it is a three-way tie for the Seminole District Championship between LCA Heritage and EC Glass, this is the first ever district championship EC Glass has won since joining the Seminole District. So plenty to celebrate tonight, including the Hilltoppers getting to host the first round of the playoffs back here at City Stadium next Friday. In Lynchburg for the Game of the Week, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.